Okay. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Come on, Gardner. Give us the good stuff, mate. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. <laughs> I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Oh, Gardner. You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. That's right, I'll do the grocery shopping. Don't worry, mate. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. It's a Namby Pamby. You'd like to talk about? The hell's a Namby Pamby? More of your time. Back to work. I'll do some shopping. Why not? Only the the fate of the galaxy again. Who cares? Got to eat right. We got to eat right. Hey, Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda. No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Perfection! Alright. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything over here, but let's go up there anyway. Ah, sleeping. What? Is this where we sleep? Sleeping pods? Gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. So where we go, we go to a hypersleep or whatever. Doctor Chakwas. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. 
Well, I'm going shopping, so I might as well add it to the list, right? I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. At what point is it awkward to just stare at her like that? And at what point does it tip over into creepy? The creepy? The creepy side of things? And now it's just wrong. All right. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. <laughs> I think I'm broken. Already there. Access to the AI core is restricted. I think I'm broken. Okay, cool. I think we've looked at it. Oh no, there was one. There was one last place. There was one last place to go. The engineering deck. Kodiak Drop Shuttle. Systems Alliance UT-47 Drop Shuttle, blah blah blah, there it goes. And there it is. What's this? Engineering. Hey Donnelly, what up? You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, <laughs> you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Uh... How did you end up with Cerberus, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 FBA... Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Area. You already told me that, fella. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. A good guy. Alright. So that's that. I don't think there was anything else down here either. It's just two doors. I oh, actually hang on. There is something. There's more. This is huge. Just extra cargo space. I did see a bunk there. Yeah, okay, cool. Back to the top. Go see the jokester. Stop spying on me, Kelly. I know your game. Haptic adaptive interface advances in computing have done away with traditional input devices like a bat. Gotta give me more time to read that, man. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah,
by keyboards. Instead, modern input peripherals are usually holographically displayed in front of the user at a height and angle of ergonomic ease. I've seen a person use a holographic keyboard once. Uh, machines that use this interface detect uh, a user through a microframe chip in the user's glove that keys into the computer once the user is accepted. Motion accelerometers in the user's glove match the hand's location and and uh, that of a proportionate but smaller mirror set. Alright, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I love it. I love that there's all this technology, but oh my god. <laughs> need to know about your bloody gloves and all this stuff it just works all right jokester what up yes shepherd i don't want to talk to you now let's talk about you i want to know more about you do you have a specific inquiry how are you getting along with joker mr moreau does not trust me it offends him that i am installed aboard his ship's computers yeah the last normandy did just fine without an ai reminding me the airlock is ajar why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Just yes or no, that's all you have to say. Uh, yeah. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields. Or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> it's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Yeah, you're such a downer. <laughs> oh, Dennis Downer. That's you. Alright, so we talked to Joker. Is that all you wanted to talk about? Nothing else you wanted to say? I guess I gotta choose a location now. We've toured the ship, we've had a chat. Time to actually go somewhere and do something. Let's begin by shopping. Let's go shopping. Oh, we get to fly around. Oh, fantastic. Um, oh, okay. We didn't fly around last time. We just, um, just hovered over things. From what I remember. Unexplored. Omega. 
So we go here to recruit Archangel, Professor and the Veteran. The Normandy crash site's over here. I wonder if it's going to be one of those things we're going to go around scanning. Okay, I guess we'll just go to the Omega first. We'll eventually end up at the Citadel, I suppose. Uh, so we are... But I would like to... Go to the crash site. Anyway, let's do that first. Let's recruit some punks. Built in the mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space station's original elegant design has given away, given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall a time there, uh, recall a time there ever was one, an authority. Okay, population 7.8 million on this bloody rock. Let's go. Queen, I'm, I'm not doing anything! All these Kellys. Keeping an eye out. Watching. I love it. Love how quick it loads. Um, Alright, well I guess I'm, um, I've got you Moran, I've got you Jacob, let's go. Got a grand total of two people. Alright, so let's upgrade that. Yeah. What? Hey! Hang on! Go back! I'm, <laughs> I'm finished! Anyway, I guess I am. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Varget. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. Sky? I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Zaid? <laughs> I'm right here. Please. You have to help me. No one said you <laughs> could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive raids, even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Welcome aboard! <laughs> Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. 
picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Zaid. Alright, um, cool. That's, that's, we got one. Let's get you sorted out. Miss Cerberus officer. Oh, here we go. Ability evolution. Miranda coordination of the fire team gives an increased bonus to squad weapon damage. Leaves no one behind, giving an increased bonus to squad health. Oh yeah. So you can either, either have a higher health or higher damage. I'll get for the health. Let's get for the health. Cool. What about you, Jake? Jake the snake? So you can increase weapon damage, or you can increase health. Uh, so it's an extra 10%. 10 versus 7. Uh, increases his weapon damage. Okay. Survival skills and powerful will to live make him harder to kill. Well, I'll probably be doing most of the damage anyway, so... I don't have to worry about you dropping every five seconds. It's probably better. Oh. Welcome to the after... Oh my goodness. What's going on up there? What's going on up there? Hang on a second, I want to have a look over here though. We came from over there. Oh, there's only one way. There's another door over here. Talk to Miranda. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Some sort of terminals. Ah oh man, why don't we have a Mass Effect MMORPG? Why didn't that ever happen? I want that. I want an MMORPG in a world like this. Uh, I like fighting dragons and so on and... Well, but it'd be nice for it to have a little... A little different. Something a little different. Different setting. And not Star Wars. Emporium. Private residence. Is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? 
Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the Plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh... No. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. All right. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, Zaid, do you want to take? Yeah, we might take Zaid in there, eh? Can we go for a run? What you got? You got ten points, ready to go. Mercenary veteran. Get you sorted right out. Uh, Zaid's expert combat knowledge increases weapon damage even further. Still leaning towards health over weapon damage. But I guess if you can take him down quick, that'd be a good thing. Ah, let's try it out. Concussive shot. What weapon have you got? See this bounty hunter? Look at that face! Where are you going? Get back up here! Maybe I should have like got some better weaponry or something first. Although I got this arc projector. Seems like serious business. What do you got, Zaid? Assault rifle. Alright, Miranda, you get that. How about you go with your sniper rifle? Switch up! Understood! And abilities, concussive shot. Hear a lot of coffin. Oh crap! Oh, okay. What's up, guys? I'm just passing through. Just looking for a mate. I go over there. Any, got any intel? No, nothing to pass on. Good luck in there. The blue suns and Vorcha are shooting anything that moves. We're all clear. I'll jump over that. All right, we're going in. Fire. Here we go. 
slam it. Play control at its most basic. Pile the bodies. Now, my squad should just be when enabled. Squad members automatically use their most effective powers in combat. They should just be like going crazy, right? Shouldn't have to do anything. Street and burn them. Maybe like using all their abilities. Atarian victim. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Kind has done too much already. Uh, your plague did this to me. <laughs> your feigned pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. told you I'm looking for somebody. Would you rather I let you choke on your own blood? I suppose not. What do you wish to know? I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> when I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <laughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope. To brighten the darkness of my final hours, I want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if, if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, you men. Right. Little renegade, a little. A little paragon. Solar electronics. Can we do some looting? No. We shouldn't do that. Find matching code segments. Locate and select the code that matches the code. Display it at the top left. Okay. Find all matches before the time runs out. For security. Oh, it changed. E. Need a blue one. Need a green one. What's green? What's a green up top? Where is it? This one. Ah! How dare you! Uh, blue, 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 you. Firewalls removed. Full access granted. 5k credits. Anyways, credits. Haven't been able to spend them just yet. <laughs> Bypass. Oh. Ah, wrong one. That's good that you can just fire up again. That's a way too long. 
Ah. Turian plague victim. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Buttering, I can hear. Everybody is doing well. Alright. In we go. Run a bypass. Is granted. Gonna. Pretty open over here. Trouble ahead. Anyone else deployed. Ah, she did do it. Here they come. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need cover. Where did that shot come from? Blow up. Firing now. Everybody's dead. this 
You must recruit a head scientist. Okay. Some upgrades. Hey, what's happening, dudes? Oh, thank God, you're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are you hiding here? We set foot on the street and we're dead. Every alien in the district would come after us. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while. But if the mercs don't get you, starvation will. Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. Yeah, you're making it out like we're cowards or something. A coward accepts death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're gonna have to earn it. I'm taking out every Vorcha and Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morden's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Yeah, okay. I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Good. This is the way. We just uh, relieve you of your 4,000 credits. You won't be needing that. Make sure you clear a good path for us. I don't want to get shot on the way to Morden's clinic. I'll clear 4,000 credits worth of a good path. Down. Shall I take can I take the high the high ground? Oh, there's a doggo. That one hit. This should scramble their systems. Alright, I'm gonna use this. I'll see what I can do. That I don't think that worked. We're gonna have a clear path. There we go. Okay. Hits hard when they're out in the open. Get that slam working real good. Now let's finish you off. Moving to cover. You got it. 
Or we'll blow up. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Do nothing to that guy. I see them. Run, run, Shepard! Coming up. Oh, that's right. I haven't used that yet. Beautiful. Shoddy. Now, watch out, guys. Oh, that did nothing. Watch out. It seems we've crossed into Vulture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Hey, Krogan. Krogan crazy. Bup, 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 bup. Good, we good, we good, we good. Yeah, this uh, this works out pretty good. We um, gotta use it a bit more often now. Charge at them, warrior charge. Combination with a shotgun, probably be pretty good. I don't know if my arm is good enough though. Plenty guard, don't you shoot me. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Yeah, 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 yeah.